Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here in with the Silver Empire, which we formed at the end of last episode. So right now, we are currently locked into a land war with Peru, and it's going okay. It's not going great. Could be going worse, but it's not going great. So, I des designed or come up with a potential naval invasion plan, so that would be very, very bueno. Um, you guys don't move up north. I decided to pull some divisions off of the line. And instead, they'll help hold the line here. And we will navally invade Lima, Peru, and potentially try to cut off all these enemy divisions down here. That is my goal. There's one tile there. Two. Three. What I want to do is surround Lima, take it out, get some supply through here, and then potentially cut these guys off. That's my goal. And there goes the German Reich. Spanish... Oh, N Netherlands, hello. So, it looks like Poland probably isn't going to be having a good time getting attacked from Germany and Slovakia. The Netherlands, a democratic country, has joined the Axis. And Spain, of course, is also in the Axis now as well, with Italy as too. That doesn't look too good for the Axis, and that's okay, I suppose. Common turn, they're fighting the Allies. Japan's fighting China. The world's on fire. Uh, we have the Hispanic Alliance, there's a civil war in the states, and I'm attacking Peru. But, you know, what else is new? Very good, very good. Come on, guys, get down here quickly. I must have a good, full, fast, thick naval invasion. We have regimental combat teams, so let's get some mechanized offensives. That would be great. We need more support equipment, though. Do that. Oh, ooh, that's probably a bit too much. There you go. Do we need any more steel? Well, we need it steel for motorized and ships. Other than that, we're kind of okay. Let time go on for now. I want all six divisions here, and at least a plan a little bit, because I'm sure Peru has at least a few divisions in Lima. Um, oh, we're going to have to move quickly, so I'll take this tile. We'll need this tile, and then that tile. Three tiles, which will take a little bit of time, but they'll be distracted in Lima... Hopefully, so that we will have a good time. All right, you guys look pretty good. You all have your orders. Go ahead when you can, and we'll send you guys on naval invasion support. Research slot for more resource extraction. It's 1939. We might want to do some... Oh, let's get some engineers. Some better engineers, since we already have them on most of our divisions anyways. All right, the Marines... The infantry, they're not Marines. The mer infantry is off. Hopefully to bring back the success and riches of Peru. Ooh, Kingdom of Angola has fallen. Very nice. We're rebuilding stuff around here. Do we need more fuel? No. Do we need more rubber? Yes. So, go ahead and start building up some of this. 80% looks pretty good to me. Start doing that. And post that. Build up that as well. Just because we, I want to keep doing some more infrastructure in areas that... We could get more oil from, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Infrastructure is important to do. So you can build stuff up faster. The I keep saying Marines. But the infantry is off. And Norway declares armed neutrality. It's best for the country if it stays peaceful or neutral, like it did in the Great War. Um, can Norway trust the world to respect this neutrality? Probably not. Oh, we immediately get attacked. I sent three divisions this way? I want you to move up that way. Good. Oh, oh. If we help attack here, we might be su successful. Come on. Lima. Oh, we've taken it. We've taken it. We've completely taken the capital. Good, good, good. Uh, where is the capital now? Arequipa. This is going to be a pain in the butt, probably. I want you to do convoy escorting now. That'll be good. And we've taken some of their military factories away. That's actually pretty darn good. Do that. We're going to need a little bit more steel. And we'll get it from the unaligned states because... Why the heck not? Well, why not? Oh, because we... Are out of steel. Uh, more bombers. Just more bombers. That's all I can say. It's just more bombers. Supply probably isn't. <clears throat> excuse me. Really great down here. And how many factories do you have now? Did I take everything? You have three military factories, and you have a little bit of manpower coming along as well. I can't afford to lose Lima now, which sucks. But that's okay. That's okay. Let you guys rebalance yourselves a little bit. That'll be okay with me. Make sure not everyone is moving. Just kind of sit there for now. And what about this northern region? They have some slots unlocked, but other than that, it's not very much. 
Go ahead and come all the way over here while we are going to take the rest of Peru over. This is going to be one heck of a way to take out Peru. That's all right. Do that. Good. Buddy up around here. That's good. This might divert some divisions off the line from this side, which is good for us. And we're getting attacked by how many divisions? Quite a few. Excavation is good. Engineering, 1939 stuff. Air Doctrine. That could help. Intercept and defense, maybe. Oh, we can actually put planes over here as well, which would be very nice. Another 50-some. Good, do that. Oh, you don't even have the range for that. Oh, my goodness. I don't have the range for it at all, whatsoever. God dang it. Hold on, guys. Just keep expanding. Keep expanding. You're doing great. I don't mind losing this tile. That means I can move up this way a little bit further. I need more divisions out right now, though. Yeah. If I take out these two, could I add them right there? Yeah, go ahead and start moving south. That would be okay with me. Let you guys reform the line. I need more divisions up here really badly. Good. Finish that area of Peru off. That'll be good. Um, I need you to stay right there. Where are you moving? Um, if anything, you move right there too. Oh shoot. They were they went too fast. They went too fast. Oh, that division's gonna get in circle probably. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, they don't like I don't like this. So, go ahead and attack them then. You do stuff like that, and I will do stuff like this. You should be able to win against two divisions here with a little bit of air support. Yeah, I might lose a division here. Oh, they have a division up there too. I didn't realize that. Hmm. War support. Definitely, definitely, definitely need that war support. Come on, you guys can crack them. Oh, you actually made it over there. That's good. That's actually pretty good. Infrastructure destruction. Nice. Let's get some naval mission efficiency. Sure, why not? That sounds good to me. You guys are doing okay. You come up here, uh, and come down here. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be a giant flipping mess, but with these four divisions moving up north, that's good. Oh, uh-oh. Peace conference. France was... They already killed... Holy crud! They, oh, oh. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Wait, Dutch? Dutch? Congo? Flemish Republic? What? Oh, uh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. Rep yeah, no, this is why you stay transfer to a mod. You're just going to come over there. All right, that's better. That's a little better. Why did you liberate France? Look at Morocco. What? Um, I'm not going to do that. Just go ahead and mark this. Uh, I don't want that much lag. There you go. That's that's a little better. Hmm. Yeah, we're talking about lag. I don't. No one cares about these African states. You know what? Even core it. There you go. Oh, why? Why did you make Africa explode? They don't even deserve that independence, but whatever. Alright, let's let our guys keep moving up. That's good. Move up this way. That'll be good. We've lost about 14,000 to the 36,000. Awesome. Where are you moving? You know what? Don't even guard this front line. Seriously, don't even move. Really, if anything, just like guard right to there, maybe. Yeah, don't don't even move that way. Oh, it's paused. My bad. Good. Just help hold the front line. Um, there's no one down here. Are you guys almost there? You, yep, you are, which is great. They have five divisions in their capital. That's pretty much expected. We're moving around, which is fine with me. Get this division down here now. Come on. I know it's mountains. I know it kind of sucks coming down that way. Actually, no, that's just one big tile right there, which is fine. We've taken this tile as well. We're slowly encroaching in Peruvian territory. We just got some more civilian factories. Next up, standardized equipment. That'd be actually not too bad. Let's do some Air Force stuff. So, Air Force reform. Our Air Force is in a shameful state. Our planes break down even without taking off. And there are few trained pilots in our ranks. Well, what do you think I'm trying to do? 
What do you think I'm even trying to do, my man? Actually, we might be able to push this direction if we get a little bit more organization. That wouldn't be too bad. Actually, if they move up there, then I might be able to take this tile. That'd actually be really good. Ah, uh, this tile's, this division's gotta die. It's gotta go. Good. Send the Mountaineers, too. Good. Good. These guys are really out of equipment, which is nice. Manpower's pretty bad for them, or, you know, it's okay. It's not great. Let them come in, and then I will move some divisions around. Go ahead and keep stall these guys here for now. Stall them. Let this division move in, and then we will go in ahead and then circle that. Nope. Nope, they stopped moving. Okay, never mind. Let them move in. You know, if you really, really wanted to, I guess you could do that. There you go. That'll be fine. That would be fine. We'll attack here next. Let our divisions get more reorganized. We need some more support equipment, though. Thank you. We're building up some more stuff, which is good. And really, why would you pop with the Confederacy? Just annex them. Hold on. No, just... No, 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 no. That makes no sense. And... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Alabama, you're not going to be independent. I don't mind this staying there just because they weren't at war. So, uh, come up there next, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Strengthen the autocracy. It does weaken the U.S. just by a little bit, not much... Yeah, yeah, FDR. Yeah, you're a democratic socialist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. One division here. I like that there's only one division. Next up, we'll attack here. Send the Mountaineers. They are literally the guys equipped to do, handle the job. Uh, if we're attacking the capital, you might as well attack with all those divisions. Give them a little bit more force to attack. We should have air superiority over here. Oops. Very nice. The means. Good. More recovery rate. We could do either glory for more army breakthrough. Ooh, that's good. It does cost our tank a little bit more supply, organization, and division training time, though, and research speed. Or less supply consumption, which is already really not bad. Less division attrition and reinforce rate, and more research speed. Do I want organization and breakthrough? Or less supply consumption? I, I love less supply consumption. Like, it... I have to do less supply consumption. Like, I love Breakthrough. It's become, probably become my most favorite stat in the entire game now. But supply consumption, I hate supply problems. I absolutely hate it. And there goes Peru. Not too bad. It only took us 13-ish minutes. Next up, I should have justified on Ecuador before we were done. But it only takes 75 days. Nice. And basically, we have two armies now. Which is really, really bueno. Yeah, we speak Spanish, so Bueno is good to use. Um, I don't want to hurt my supplies, so Juan, you keep doing what you're doing. Um, you guys, just kind of hang out near Lima, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of hang out there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And we have a total of 98 factories. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. And I do want to make some synthetic refinery plants. The Silver Empire is looking pretty nice, not going to lie. That's pretty decent. For now. Uh, we do want to get to limited exports. That would be nice. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, look how much political power I'm going to need to get rid of that. Because we have recent economic unification. And then we have recent military unification. We get less mobilization speed. Less division training time, though. Less planning speed and less daily command power gain multiplier. And recent political unification. Less daily political power cost and less stability. Barn of the world, though. The workers prevail in the Second American Civil War. FDR won the Civil War. Another place to be liberated from the yoke of Bolshevism. The government of Earl Browder now faces the difficult task of reintegrating the breakaway states back into the communist states. You won the war! You won the war! Are, are, are these, like, Georgia, is that not a core? It's not a core, it's a colony state. Wait, the underlying states are gone as well. What? the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, this isn't Kaiserreich, but it kind of is 
Full desegregation. Oh my goodness. Civil unrest. Oh. Reaffirm the, reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. Yeah, that's great. Unlocks. Oh, intervention mandate. Oh, ooh. Hmm. Now they actually might do something against me if they, uh, if I go to war with somebody. Liberty for the Philippines. Oh, that's great. That's great. Get a focus to liberate your puppet. And then Pacific decolonization. Oh. Revolutionary minds. Do I have any decisions I can make? More war propaganda is really good. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. National unification. That's good. Political unification. That's good. Military unification. Uh, let's get rid of political and economic. I don't mind military unification taking longer. It doesn't hurt us as much as the other ones, so that's actually probably good to do first. I'm glad those are actually decisions within the game, though. And happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Oh, oh actually, both of you are doing separate things. Interesting. Go ahead and repair at home. And if anything, you know what? I lied. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now go home and repair. Good, good, good. Now you guys, you did pretty well. I'm kind of proud of you guys. You guys come over here, and you guys come over here. Good. No supply problems. We'll probably attack fairly decently into the mountains. I love it. Um, actually... Oh, do we have enough artillery? Angered by Ecuadorian proposition. I think we should have enough artillery now. We lose defense, recovery rate, reconnaissance... As well as we take more supply and lose organization HP, but we do get 21 more, 21 and a half more soft attack. I love it. And our stockpile of artillery goes down by. That's a thick peace conference. Oh man, please don't break the game. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh no, that was really loud. I apologize for that. We lost about 900 pieces of artillery. Why did the game have to do it that loudly? Oh, the allies pieced out with the... Oh! Oh, my. Oh. How many people are in the allies? We just... All we wanted was air reform. Um, light fighter modernization. Heavy fighter. Aviation schools, it, uh, this, these focuses are okay, they're not great. Um, tactical bombers, yeah, they, they aren't actually, it's just better we just build stuff, to be honest with you. <sighs> Nuclear committee, that sounds like fun. More civilian factories are always good though. Further developing our industry could prove beneficial to us, and would also show the world that Argentina is a country on the rise. The allies, let me see, let me guess. Oh no, you're still at war with them. You're still at war with those guys. I thought you s Wait. Wait, what? De full decolonization of them. Oh, so you're at war with... The Allies. And the Dutch Congo... Wait, why is Romania... F Wait, what? Romania? Why are you not in the... You're not in the faction. The Allies invaded there. You're still at war with the Allies. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what's going on anymore, man. And that's okay. Japan is still... Hello, Qing China! Hello! The Empire Returns. That definitely would hurt Japanese ability to strike into China. At least I think it would. The Coalition of Free Commonwealth States. Oh, they actually formed their own faction. Hello, An Anand? Anand? Huda? Uh, there's Pakistan. Very nice. There's Burma and... Yeah, Burma. Anyway, coalition of oh, oh no Sudan, uh, Africa's a mess again. Kenya, then again, what? When was it? What? When was it never a mess? South West Africa, Bechuanland, Aust Australia also joined that, but New Zealand stayed in the Allies. What timeline is this? Canada joined the coalition of free Commonwealth states too, but the U.S. of course is in the Allies. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? Um, I really don't like this, that they're not in their own faction, Republic of Brittany. I really don't like this. I'm gonna mess with the world. Just give this to Germany. 
this. Do they have their own focus tree? No, they don't even have their own focus tree. There's no point to keep them here then. Just, just give it to the Dutch. There you go. The Dutch will like that. There you go. That actually doesn't look too bad. Um, balloon. The Dutch would probably prefer that anyways. Our worst enemy is our best defense. Oh, there we go. Maintain neutrality. Foreign guarantees of independence. Keep building up, guys. We actually have enough for that. Then for this. Infrastructure, perhaps, to build more goods? We need more steel, right? Yeah, we definitely need more steel, so let's build up some infrastructure to get even more steel. That's a ton of tungsten. Holy cow. 22 steel, 29 steel. Yes, please. We only get three more, but that's okay. Um, put you up, put you down. There you go. And then once we're done with that... Build more civilian factories. I can just continue to trade mine away for a while. Until we have enough. Cool. I really hope the U.S. doesn't get involved. Let's do it before they reaffirm the Monroe Doctrine. Go ahead and do that. Start justifying on Columbia. Alright, so we're not winning completely exactly everywhere. Fort. Do they have forts around here? Doesn't look like it. And that's okay with me. We're not going to win here. We're going to win pretty much everywhere else. And winning is always nice. Mechanized defensive? Very good. Let's do shock and awe because I don't know anyone else that doesn't choose that decision or that version of that. Do we have a coup in Romania? Was that a smart decision to make? You're still fighting the Axis. I mean, it'd be one thing if you cooed and then it made a white. What the hell? Hans? Are you? You're Pol. Hmm. This is interesting. The front morgues. Merges? Morges? Um, I don't like this. I really don't like this. What the? <sighs> That's disgusting. You know what? Who owns this? You're... You're independent? No, just give that to the Soviet Union. No, that's disgusting. I kind of don't mind this, because it makes a little, bit, a little bit of sense. Just... Just just go to the Germans. It doesn't matter. Alright, there you go. That's nice. France, I don't like that either. What the heck? Cor I'm sorry. I'm just going to give that to Italy. I know I'm, I should be coring all this stuff for other people. For other people. But, uh... Wait. Freezer stuff. Hold on. This is... This is just not bueno in my mind. Just, they were defeated. It doesn't matter. Wait. Ma oh, Malta's here. I'm not going to touch Malta just because... Whatever. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have given them Cyprus, but I don't care. That's good enough for me. Ecuador, you're looking better. We have Pura. This is good. Um, you guys are actually winning down here finally, which is nice. We've lost about probably 5,000, maybe? 6,000 against 4,000. That's okay. In time, that's all we really want is, uh... You know, let's just let them do their own thing and move up that way. How strong is Ecuador? Arms protect the nation. Well, they do, as long as you have enough manpower, which you have none of. And I get to take your factories, which is what I really want. And then, you guys, keep guarding coasts. I'm glad this is not Old World Blues, because then we would have a ton of rivers to garrison. There you go. That makes it much easier. Ah, very nice. Another division. Another division or two. We have quite a huge border with the Brazilians, which can be a little bit frustrating, perhaps, some might say. Good. Let everyone move up. Ah, Juan, you are an infantry expert. Good. Arturo, you as well are an infantry expert. Very good. And another division. Very nice. See, this is it's easy to unify all of South America. Maybe except for Brazil. Because Brazil, well, they're Brazilian. Um, guys, I would recommend maybe being a little bit more careful. Industrial development too. Very good. Aviation schools, um, more civilian factories, more population. Let's go ahead and grab 
Some more civilian factories. If we want to compete with the bigger countries, we will need a bigger industrial capacity. Amen. Good. Just keep building so I can trade stuff away for more resources that we really actually kind of need. The U.S., you know, you're not going to go to war because we're trading with you, right? Exactly. And you know what? I'll even ask for one steel. I probably don't need this much steel. Well, for my ships I do, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we don't really need that area next to Quito. Go ahead and stop attacking. Move into there, and then we'll do, you know, one final push into there. Improved competing machine. Let's get a little bit more decryption. Start building up a military factory. That would be good. At least one. Very nice, very nice. Juan is doing pretty well. He's level 4 logistics, level 3 planning, level 3 defense, level 6 attack. And he's level 5. That's pretty decent. Not going to lie. That's pretty darn decent. Give us a little bit more time. I want more divisions spread out so we can do well, well around here. It's not like we've got too much more stuff to do. Um, Axis is struggling a little bit down this way. Turkey, please. Please form the Ottoman Empire. Please. Please. That'd be so cool if you did. Oh, you can't be democratic or authoritarianism. <sighs> so please turn fascist. Please. Can I? Wait, the Great Empire of Qing joined the... Soviet Union declared war... Soviets? What the heck are you doing? You're fighting the Allies already, but now you want to go to war with the Soviets. Interesting move. Very, very... Interesting move. Um, well, that's a good. Well, I guess they're holding out in little pockets around here. What's a war like for the UK or really the Allies? Cap Catholic Mexico. Um, is the reason why we went to war with Honduras specifically, or no? Maybe. Ah, oh, look, we're actually a major war. Cause we are a major country. Fourteen thousand losses, thirty-three thousand. Nice. Nah, alright. We should have enough time now. Go ahead and attack Quito and all them. You should have more than enough strength to do this. Guatemala joined the Allies. Oh, oh, God. oh, no. Give them more strength over here. Honduras joined the Allies. Yeah, I don't want to get involved with the Allies. Yeah, just go ahead and start attacking them here. El Salvador? Please. Ecuador, don't join the Allies. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not joining Mexico. No, no, no. You, this is, you made your bed. Now you're going to have to lie in it. Uh, let's get some better planes. That sounds like a good idea to me. Venezuela. Oh, Venezuela decided to do something. Interesting. It's going to take a while to kill off, kill off all these guys. 79, 80. Once the divisions move up to this tile up here. India declared war on India. What the hell is going on? You're not even fighting Pakistan. Indian People's Republic. You look kind of suave or really weird for a commie. Huh. Oh, you're in the... Common turn. All India forward block. And you're just... You're in the... You rejoined the allies. What the heck? You were in this free coalition pact. And then you joined the allies once again. Oh, my goodness. Good. Let you guys come over here, too. Attack them in the rear. I can go to war for Meta. Um, no. Go ahead and keep attacking. Do not let them rest. If they can't rest, they got nowhere to go. And we will win. This does cost us quite a few men. I, it's unfortunate, but it's a necessary evil. Good. Oh, we're actually done building stuff. Nice, nice. Um, that's good to keep there. Once we have this area, I'll build one radar station up here as well. Now let's start making quite a few more military factories. Oh yeah, definitely right there. Put that up to the top. That'd be good. And maybe some more dockyards, because why not? Dockyards are important from time to time. Infrastructure, yeah, that's good stuff to build, too. We won't run out of things to build for a while. Come on, 96. Naval strike tar tactics, good. Air superiority or interception. I like air superiority more. And... They're dead. 24,000 losses versus 77,000. Nice. Ecuador... Oops! I clicked that button way too fast. I don't know why, but I'm just going to do it like this then, because I made a mistake. My apologies. Get ready to go to war with Colombia. That would be great. Oh, they're guaranteed by Canada. Canada. 
What the hell you think you're doing? I am not going to go and capitulate the Coalition of Free American States. No way. Hmm. All these ships are garbage. Well, actually, you probably throw on some radar there. Do that, do that, and then... I don't want to make garbage. Just make some of these for now. Come to Buenos Aires. Oh, we have some military factories we could use as well. Do something like that, and then... Some more fighters, that'd be good. Oh, there we go. Let's do military unification. That'd be great. War propaganda. Awesome. I really don't want to go to war with this stupid... Uh, coalition of free commonwealth states. That makes no sense. Commit to the war. Why? Why? There goes Romania. Um. Alright, so this doesn't make any sense. Belarus, no, you know, I thought it was okay, but seeing that they're not in the Axis, that just makes no sense to me. Just, there you go. That makes much more sense. Hungary being independent actually makes a little bit more sense than anything else. But that's pretty much all the time that we have for today, guys. What have we done? We, well, we finished our war with Peru, as well as we took out Ecuador. The Silver Alliance is looking pretty good. Uh, Catholic Mexico has found a good old ally, and they're trying to kill off the allies. So be it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did... Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we might. We'll probably go to war with Colombia, or maybe even Brazil. We'll see what happens. Have a great day, guys.